Okie dokie. So everyone can see me. Yay. And you can see my Visconti t-shirt. And what else? Have my Furrican mug. Well, sorry about that. It's a Logitech web webcam. I uh, do what I can. Someone's asking me if it's recording. Yes, it's recording. Thank you for asking. Maybe we can auction off this shirt. You know you can get it at Zazzle. Just search for Listernian Zazzle and there's a bunch of stuff you can get. Oh, I also have a um, mouse pad. Not that anyone uses mouse pads anymore. Uh, okay, well, I have a few announcements. Um, bring up my little sheet here. Okay, first announcement. Um, as many of you know, we had a really big loss when ESA, uh, our paid coder, um, the Iron Realms, put her somewhere else. Well, we struck a deal with Iron Realms that ESA is coming back to Listernia, not full-time, still going to be doing Iron Realm stuff, but still but it's going to be doing a, a lot of work in, in Listernia. So that is a very, very big plus for us. So yay, ESA. Um, so you'll be seeing, uh, you probably have been seeing, if you're an envoy, uh, ESA uh, around more than, um, uh, than we had thought uh, she could be around. But ESA is around, so that, that's a really big uh, score for Listernia. Um, what else? Uh, the anniversary is coming up, and uh, I hope to, at least before the next newsletter, <coughs> excuse me, get a, um, a schedule up of, of events. And hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, we may be having a release uh, for the anniversary that's tweaking uh, a new s a, a common skill set that's going to include um, <clears throat> something a little little um, curio-esque and it's going to be so much fun. The, the gods are, are really excited to try it out once we can get the final code and play around with it ourselves. So hopefully anniversary you'll, you'll see uh, uh, something really cool uh, that you can play. And it doesn't have anything to do with uh, PvP. Um, curios. Everyone loves curios, right? Where's my chat box? Everyone loves curios, yes? Well, what we're thinking about doing, we haven't actually Zen says it's made 76 curios. That's insane. <laughs> okay. Um, we, we're, I'm pretty sure we're going to do this, but I'm just going to uh, toss this out there as, as an idea. What we're thinking about doing is releasing some more curios that you cannot get by paying credits or gold or lessons. Can you guess how you're going to collect these curios? Anyone have any idea? Should I tell you? Yes, Trailer has it right. Quests. What we're thinking about is when you do honor quests, having um, a curio pieces pop up. Um, so you can only get these curios by questing. And they would be their sort of own little theme, such as, um, I don't know, uh, let's say there's a 
a set for the solace and you need to do um, and you get pieces by doing um, the lithoid quest or the doom quest stuff like that and and maybe having um, certain uh, curios pop up that you can only get that way so those are going to be really hard to get because you you know you collect by pieces it'll be random what piece you get and you only get them if you do an honor quest so I think that's kind of cool. I think that'll be kind of interesting. Uh, what else to announce? Um, hope everyone is loving the Wheel of Golos event. I know that um, we haven't done much lately. I, I have to tell you, last month everyone was working on Curios. Curios, Curios, Curios. But we're, we want to get back into the Wheel of uh, Golos um, storyline. And, of course, we don't want to release anything about what go, what's going on, but I suggest you might want to be around tomorrow. That's all I'm going to say. If you have time to play tomorrow, you might want to log in, especially in the evening. Okay, um, what else? Uh, new releases. We are working, and I know I mentioned this at the meet, if you're at the meet, um, we are working on um, a new skill set. Our skill sets. I'll just say a new skill set that is going to show some love for an archetype, an older archetype that hasn't had much love uh, in recent years. So it's, it's going to be very cool. And I will say that if you guys liked um, the Cavil Years, you notice in the Cavil Years that you can't actually take that skill set unless uh, you do a quest because you need mounts. So this new skill set um, might have something like that. And that's all I'll say on that. And hopefully that will be done before the end of the year. Hopefully sooner. Um, but we'll see. And um, what else? That's actually really the only um, announcements I, I have. Uh, I want to keep this short, so let's uh, open it up for some um, questions. And I see the chat windows is open. And uh, so does anyone have any general questions for Listernia? For the new curios, can you repeat the quests you've done before the pieces? Can I repeat or report? Um, yeah, when we do new curio, if we do the quest curios, which I'm pretty sure we're going to do, um, I'll announce it beforehand, saying, um, and I'll let you know what quests that you can uh, that you can do to to collect those quest only curios. No, they won't apply retroactively. Sorry. I don't know. Will the Talthos quest be fixed? Um, I actually bug that because I'm not really sure what bug you're talking about. Bugs should be bugged. Are you going to have any auctions or lotteries for the anniversaries? Yes, yes. We do that every anniversary. Well, not, not auctions. I doubt if we're going to have an auction. Yeah, we're not going to have time to, to work up an auction, but yeah, we'll probably do a lottery. Any news or comments on auto first aid? Um, that's being done by uh, Cior, and uh, he's he's excited about uh, doing that, but he also has a full-time job elsewhere, so I need to touch base on him and um, I'll ask him to post on Facebook or something, uh, or the forums probably, an update on the auto first aid updates that uh, I know he's working on. Define evening. Evening is always PST. If you didn't know, the world revolves around PST. And that's the only time zone I, I recognize. How do I feel about People customize items with names, tacky, non-tacky. Um, 
I, I, I'm pretty neutral on it. Some of them I think is really are really cool. Some of them I'm like, well, if you really want to do that, go ahead. Um, but you know, that's an individual thing. It's kind of subjective, and I make no judgments on it. Wayfair coming for the anniversary? Question mark. Um, probably. Don't they come every anniversary? Uh, can we release the Rune of Winterbane and Summerbane? We haven't released new Arties in a while. Um, maybe that's something we'll do next month for the anniversary, is release some of the um, artifact, <coughs> auction artifacts as regular artifacts, because I know there are some that I do want to release. So thank you for reminding me. That's something we'll, we'll look into. Um, Beastmaster was, I'll, I'll look at the, the auction artifacts and uh, see what we can release. So you're working on a new skill set for an old class. Is that the only one so far? Uh, I'm not sure what the question is. Is it the only class we're working on right now? Uh, yeah, pretty much is in terms of skill sets, uh, that's the one that's up next. You know, the skill sets take a long time to uh, mostly design. It's actually the design phase is longer than the uh, coding phase. Um, in fact, I know uh, we're still in design phase for the Halifax and Gadiguch monks. That's um, something that we're, we're working on and nowhere near release, so don't get your hopes up on that one. It's probably going to be bumped for next year. Okay. How far away? Oh, I just answered it. Uh, Halifax and Gaudi Gooch months. Um, probably next year. I want to say next year for for their for the monks. And I'm not sure where in the year. Maybe in the beginning. Maybe in the middle. Maybe the end. We need a new desert area. Okay. Um, you know, areas are. When people ask me about areas, uh, ephemerals and admin, I say start with the story first. Um, because as you know, I'm really into quests and storylines, and that's what I want to see first, rather than just saying, oh, we need want more uh, a desert area or mountain areas, or we don't need more mountain areas. But So maybe there'll be a desert, more desert in the future. Um, OK, this is scrolling, so I'm probably missing a lot of questions. Are there any plans in place to deal with the dilution of the player base? There are way too many guilds for how many people play this game. Um, no, well, I mean, the plans are to increase the player base. But if you n remember when we released uh, the colleges, what I would like is the mindset of players to focus more on your city orgs rather than uh, the guild orgs. Because for me, the guilds represent like political factions more than this is the group I identify with. So um, I'm not going to be too concerned. I mean, I'm not going to hold off releasing the monk guilds because I don't think the player base is big enough. Different story about uh, a city or commune org. But I'm not going to hold off releasing uh, new guilds um, for existing uh, player organizations, cities and communes. Um, just because I'm afraid that they're going to be uh, not populated. I mean, some people may like being a, in a guild that doesn't have that many members. It may be kind of elite. I don't know. But I hope that you identify with your player orgs in terms of helping newbies out, um, in terms of sort of your identity. Okay. In that vein, is there a chance of divorcing to some degree skill sets and guilds so that it is more of a factional thing than a skill set, skill based lore thing? Um, so you're talking about getting rid of uh, guilds. I don't think that would be necessary. I think guilds still play a function. I think they still represent the, the factions uh, within a organization. And um, I think there would be, I mean, you guys could answer that. I think there would be blowback if um, we take away guilds and have sort of a non-guild system. 
could pl villages be opened up for player citizens like I want to come from Estelbar? Um, I don't think we're going to do anything like that um, code-wise. I mean, you're welcome to say I'm from Estelbar and put that in your player history, but I actually have never thought about that, but I, I don't really see that in the future. I, I'm sorry again, this is scrolling, and I'm just catching the questions as, as I see them. A more like question, are you having a lot of fun this year? Yes, we're having a lot of fun. Glad you asked. Thank you for asking. Are you ever going to get new instruments for bards? Maybe flutes and wind instruments. Um, flutes and uh, wind instruments. Okay, this is it for bards as their main uh, instrument. Is that you need to sing. So I've, I've never wanted to have any um, uh, wind instruments. But we did put them in... Um, um, my mind's blank. The, the, the skill for, for bards, uh, the trade skill for bards. There's horns that you can play. Um, tinkering, thank you, tinkering. So you can have horns, they're just not going to be the main instrument of, of the bards. So whatever happened to that Dharma idea, has that been scrapped? Um, I, it, it was actually just put on hold, uh, and I'm not sure where we are with uh, Dharma. Um, that's how you pronounce Gaudi Gooch. You pronounce it Gaudi Gooch. How else do you pronounce it? Um, do you think we are likely to get a month of double envoy reports coming up? Probably not, because we have a lot of stuff on our plate. Um, there's a lot of projects going on. I don't think we're going to have time for a double envoy report. I'm not sure if there's really a need for a double envoy report. I pronounce it ESA. You can pronounce it however you want. Uh, Well, Malarius, I'm not shocked that you think there's a need for a double envoy report. I pronounce it Lesternia. I'm just kidding with you, Malarius. I love you. <laughs> um, okay, more questions besides how to pronounce things? Have you gotten any? Oh, you know, thank you for reminding me. Um, I've, I just haven't had time to do any more Ask, Lestar, Ask Astara videos. Um, I know there's been a couple of submissions um, that are probably really old now. I'm so sorry. There's, there's a couple of people that submitted and I never did a, uh, a video on them. But thank you for reminding me. That's something I need to do. Will we spellcasters ever be able to do avarice? I hate trying to find tinkerers. Sorry, no, you have to find tinkerers. You know, do a trade. That, that's the whole thing about um, having some things that you can only get for uh, tinkerers or whatever. Will you release a dual axe spec? Um, we not talking about uh, the dual axe spec, but we don't have any current plans to release more warrior specialization soon, but we do have some sketchy design plans for uh, some warrior specializations, um, but they're not double axes. No more hints on you, the new skill. You'll, you'll find out, like I said, hopefully before the end of the year, but I think you'll be happy. Any Aether Combat changers in the works? No. Curio S skill set. Any? Um, oh, I, I kind of want to give you a hint, but I kind of don't want to give you a hint. Um, it's going to be for the anniversary. Hopefully, we're going to be able to release it then. It's going to be part of a common skill set um, that's going to provide some benefit, but it's not. The benefit's not going to be for combat or PvP. But the other thing about it is, is that you, you can play with it. 
can play with it with others. So, cool. Okay. Um, I often wanted something that's a plant humanoid for a race. Any possibilities for a new race? Uh, sorry, no possibilities for a new race. I kind of, I also like the idea of a plant humanoid, but um, I mean, we have a lot of races. I don't think we really need a new one. Um, is there anything in the works to make tattoos a more popular trade skill? Politics limitations make me essentially unavailable. Uh, not sure what that means. Politics limitations. Uh, I, there's there's no nothing in the works for tattoos at the moment. I mean, if you have an idea, if you want to put it on the forums or talk to your envoy, that would be a good a, a good idea. Uh, you can't tattoo enemies. I'm not sure that's true. You mean RP wise? Um, okay, so I, I'm not sure what to say about the tattoos. We don't have plans for them. If you want to envoy it or make a forum thread, feel free. Will Kefir ever have a hive channel? And possibly make hives permanent? Hmm, I haven't thought of that. Um, there's no... I, I don't want to comment on that now because I haven't really thought about it. <clears throat> Making hives permanent. I don't think that would be a good idea. I, 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 I would think if you want to RP that, maybe make a family and, and do it that way. Okay. I know the special reports are tiresome, but they're, oh, I'm reading, it's not a question. Here's a good one. How do you feel about the Facebook group versus the forums? I sometimes feel like the latter is getting more lively while the former is quieting down a bit. Um, yeah, I, I kind of agree that's what happened. I was kind of surprised with how uh, popular the Facebook group got, and, uh, and you'll even see me on it. Um, Oh, oh, I forgot to announce. I knew I thought I was forgetting something. Um, this has this sort of a tangent. We are getting an update on both the website and the forums. And it's been, I thought it was going to be done um, quite a while ago, but that may be um, getting a little bit of steam. So hopefully we'll get, uh, look forward to a new uh, website design, which isn't, it's going to look similar to the uh, one we have now, but just a little bit more updated. If you keep track of the other Iron Realms games and see what they've done with their forums and websites, that's something that uh, we could be looking forward to. And um, so anyway, how do I feel about the Facebook group? I, I think it's great that the players are, uh, are chatting on it and posting on it. And... Uh, I, I, I like I like them both. I, I wish there would be more activity in the forum. And maybe that's kind of sort of our fault that I know I haven't been posting that much in the forum, so in the future maybe you'll see me uh, posting a little bit more on the forums. Okay. With IP, uh, it would be a new, it would be something that's not IPB. Um, so, so yeah, if you're familiar with the IKEA forums, that if they stick with that, that's uh, probably what we'll be going with. Um, on families, any way to adopt into maiden families while still being married? I'm not sure I understand that. Maiden families will still be married. Um, I'm not sure the answer to that. In early something monkish new scrolls, there was an old stealth skill set proposal. Is there any chance we can get the something monkish new scrolls? Um, I, I'm not sure what that is. Sorry. 
This might be more global to IRE. Have you ever considered some sort of tie-in game for Listernia, like how major game publishers add Facebook games? And you know, I'd love to do that, but I don't think there's the uh, resources in Iron Realms to do um, like a little Facebook game. Actually, I really wanted a Facebook game. Um, but, you know, if someone wants to do that as a third party, you know, let me know. Okay, a um, couple more questions. Can I invite my friends to harvest my sparkleberry? What? I don't, I don't understand that one. <laughs> Your sparkleberry? Um, okay, here's something. Will Aether Battles ever be accessible in an arena? It would make a lot of... You know, there is an Aether Combat Arena, and uh, I just don't think it gets much use. Um, so, maybe if you guys can... Parallax, that's it. Um, comment on how to make that more popular. You know, maybe we can get more use on the uh, Aethercraft Arena. That was a disappointment that it wasn't... Um, doesn't seem to be very popular. I mean, obviously, you guys don't even know about it. Is it preferred that people report missing denizen resistances or just assume you'll get addressed sooner or later? Uh, good question. Um, why don't you... Why don't you bug that? Just bug it. Just bug it and we'll either delete it if we don't think it needs a, a resistance but it, yeah if you see mo mo blah, if you see mobs uh, or denizens without any uh, resistances on it go ahead and, and bug that and we'll just go through it and if we feel they uh, should have a uh, some resistances on it we'll take a look at it um, where the Malarius's question just scrolled by something about marking items we're not doing any of that that's you know I, I prefer not to do things from other games if other games doing something I prefer not to do it um, you know one of the reasons Zenseth is asking about emoticons on the forums um, one of the reasons why I didn't uh, put a lot of the uh, emoticons back because I knew we were going to move to a new forum so um, when we do get a new forum and we're sure we're going to stick with it I'll start uh, adding more of the emoticons back okay so it's been about a half hour so can I take one more question or should we wrap it up We don't have sensor. That's interesting. Trade economy special report. Oh, excuse me. Um, that's not a bad idea. A trade economy special report. You know, I'm just going to reiterate that we have a lot on our plate right now. So, um... I think, you know, every time we get close to the end of the year, um, we seem to have like a lot of projects build up. So it's hard, it's, it's a bad timing to, to throw in special reports and stuff the closer we get to December. Um, but if you guys remember it next year, a trade um, economy special report might not be a bad idea. Okay. Uh, okay, so doesn't look like we have many more questions. Thank you for tuning in. I always wonder, is anyone going to show up to these Ustreams? And um, I hope you look forward to the anniversary, and I hope you look forward to our upcoming releases. So thank you. Signing off.